Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yashala, Koh Lo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rachah Hadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Zachanan, the just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit, and just want to touch on this idol. This idol that they call white Jesus. <laughs> you know, hey, if you believe in that the Lord is some white God in 2020, 2022, then hey, you need to start using your smart technology, your smartphone, and your all this smart stuff, man, to um to get smarter. Because the Lord is not <laughs> some blonde hair, blue eyed white guy. The scriptures don't describe him as that, man. And this is all idol worship. And then you got these people out here that be like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. He loves everyone. And that shit is a complete lie, you know, to go along with the, the lie of him being a so-called white guy. That's a lie. Him loving everybody. That's a lie. His name being Jesus. That's a lie. So Christianity, the so-called white man beat white Jesus into our people. And our people really believe that our Lord looks like this, this leprous guy. You think that the Lord was over in, in that hot ass region like, oh, you know what, Peter, let me go back in. I forgot my sunscreen. Get the fuck out of here, man. The Lord is the Lord is is not some leprous white guy, man, because th that's leprosy. So-called white people, and we call them so-called white because they're actually red, pinkish to reddish in color. Their biblical name is Esau, Edom. And that look that they have without that melanin, them being the only race of people on the planet with no melanin, that is that's a that's a form of leprosy. And the scriptures talks about that. So why would the Lord send his son down here with leprosy? In the hottest region ever, man. <laughs> like, come on, but let's get some of this because this is one of these big ass statues they done, um, done constructed. It says, geez, that's, the, that, that's big. New Christ statue is one of the tallest in the world. And I've done a lesson on this last year, I think it was, because they've been working on it since like, no, they've been working on it for a minute since like 2019 or so, I think. Okay, it says a breath, breathtaking new statue of Jesus. And like I said, the, the letter J was invented in 1524, 500 years ago. They was not calling the Lord Jesus when he walked the earth. They was calling him by his Hebrew name, Yahweh Shai, which means that he exists. I mean, no, it means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. The father's name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be in Paleo-Hebrew. The letter J is not even in Hebrew. So how are they calling the Lord and the Father Jehovah and Jesus and all these names with the J? It's not in the, it's not even in the Hebrew alphabet. But the so-called white man got their hands on the Bible and got the whole world believing that the Lord looks like a, 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 a guy with leprosy. <laughs> okay, it says a breathtaking new statue of I don't even like to say the name. Even bigger than Rio de Janeiro, iconic Christ the Redeemer has been completed in Brazil. Now, this is um, Northern Kingdom. The Northern Kingdom, they got it real bad when it comes to um, crystal. <laughs> they got it real bad. All the people too, though, Southern Kingdom, so-called blacks, they love some white Jesus. But that was beaten into us in slavery. And the same thing that happened to um, the so-called uh, Hispanics, Latinos, Mexico, Mexicans, Cubans, um, uh, those so-called Negro Brazilians and they beat that into you, man. And those are not your names. You're, you're actually Hebrew Israelites from your respective tribe. The so-called white man, the conquistadors and all these Edomites, they beat their image into you to make you subject yourself to them. It's high time to awake out of sleep and get rid of this idol, man. You got to renounce, denounce this idol, man, and come back to your true, follow, your true fo power, Yahweh. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Salakia, getting a little excited, man. And they, it's, a, it's a few of these statues. Okay, it says, uh, it says, works on, they're calling it Christ the Protector, was completed in the municipality of Ancantado in Brazil's south, southernmost state of Rio Grande, that sold on April 22nd. And you know, they're proud of this shit. With this pedestal, the new statue stands 43 meters, 141 feet, 
five meters taller than the Rio um, Monument. So they, they kind of went up a little bit on it. However, it is still, though, only the world's third tallest Christ statue after Jesus, Bunto, Baraki in Indonesia, and Christ the King in Poland. Let me get that. You know what I'm saying? Let's 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 go off into this real quick. Let me let me um copy and paste this. Uh I want to see what both of them, you know, because these are it, it's important that our people get away from these um idols, man. Because that's the reason why we're in captivity to these um these heathenist nations as is right now. You see? And so white Jesus on our people, like <laughs> And our people really believe this. It, our people are so in, engraved in this. You can't tell them that the Lord is not a white guy. See, here, here okay, here, here's that one in Indonesia. Okay, let's see. And you know, this is a tour spot. You know, people go and see it. Man, this is all idol worship. If you are into this right here and you are so-called black, Hispanic, and Native, or Native American, the Lord is going to destroy your ass. That's the reason why. We're in captivity right now to these heathenist nations because we worship false idols, man. We're false gods. The scripture does not describe the Lord as looking like this. First off, the scriptures goes against long hair. You see? Matter of fact, let me see if I can get that real quick. Um, let me see. Here you go. They got this. This his his hair down is down back. Let me see how this uh is worded. Yeah, um, 1 Corinthians 11 and 14. Do it not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a it is a shame unto him? So why do they keep showing you? Matter of fact, I keep this picture up right here. I, you know, why do they keep showing you pictures like this right here with white Jesus with long ass hair? When the scriptures clearly says that, you know, it's a shame for you to have long hair. You think you don't think that the Lord was keeping the commandments? He kept the commandments. The Lord didn't look like this guy right here, man. You see what I'm saying? The Lord, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you need to get away from this. Uh, that's idol. That's an idol, man. The, scrim the scriptures talks about having no images, man. Here you go. Jake got the not only an image, but a goddamn a skyscraper image, man. See, but that's Indonesia because some of those people over there see the, the so called white man them fooled all the nations into thinking that they're God. It's Chinese people that worship um, white Jesus when they have their Buddha. <laughs> but you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, especially you so called blacks, why every nation got a God that looked like them except for you? You, so, you, <laughs> it's funny, but it's serious. You are worshiping the so-called white man as your God. But tell some of these so-called white people that the Lord is some, really a so-called black man and they're not going to worship him. They don't want nothing to do with the way that the Lord really looks in the scriptures. They want their white Jesus. But you know what? You so-called Negroes will follow that shit to hell, man. I'm telling you, you better wake your asses up, man. Let's get this other one. Let's get this Christ the King in um, Salakia. Man, came out of it. Let me go back in here real quick. Let's get this Christ the King in Poland. Let's see what that one looks like. And you know Poland over there right now, they're about to um, sign up with NATO. And, and, and uh, Russia is ready to knock their asses off the block with that nuclear weapon. Because uh, they're they about to try and form their alliance with NATO, with the U.S., the EU. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's them in Finland, I think it is. Now let's get, let's get this one in Poland. Let's see what this one looks like. I think this is maybe the tallest one. Christ the King in Poland. Oh, there you go. There you go. Let's see. Whoo, look at that one. My goodness gracious. Hey, they went hard with this one. Look at that shit. <laughs> Idol worship, man. Man, the Lord is coming through and, 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 and going to blow on these. These going to tumble over, man. You see what I'm saying? Man, oh my goodness. I ain't even really know. I, I had no idea on these two. I remember this one being built, though. And, of course, the one in um, Rio de, um, de Janeiro. Let me see. What's the name of that one? Uh, Christ the Protector. 
Come on, man. The hell out of here. White the, the white man don't do nothing but but uh destroy shit. So if the Lord is <laughs> come on, man. No, the Lord is not some white guy, man, with long stringy ass German shepherd hair hanging down his back, man. Get out of here with that, man. Y'all, yeah, y'all better I'm telling you, you better wake y'all asses up. Let's get this one. That's the same one we just... Oh, okay. See, this is when they was building it. I remember it. See, they was building it. And look at that, man. Shell of a... Look at this shit, man. Are you serious? Look at this, man. You think the Lord came on the earth looking like this right here? This is... Oh, my goodness, man. Goodness, goodness, goodness. See, this is who they think the Lord looks like right here. Why are they keep pushing this recessive genes? The blue eyes, green eyes... Yellow eyes, all that shit. Those are recessive genes. You think the Lord came here imperfect like that? Stringy ass hair. No melanin. Get the hell out of here, man. That don't even make, that don't make no type of sense, man. Oh, my goodness. But, hey, but the so-called white man is going to pay for this pushing of his image throughout the four corners of the earth as if he's God. But you know what? Let's get it. This is all the scriptures because... It talks about the man of reveal, um, the man of sin being revealed in the very last of days, man. Second Thessalonians two and three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. You know how wicked you have to be as a people to push your image as being the Lord. When the scriptures clearly says that he's a dark melanated man. But they'll tell you when you mention it, though, they'll tell you, oh, it doesn't matter. He loves everyone. That's not true, man. The so-called white man used the Bible to control the world because they understand the power in it. That's when you look at the, um, the movie, the book of book of Eli. That guy, he didn't give a shit about what, what was in the book, but he believed that what was in the book he could control the people with. You see what I'm saying? Verse four. This is the point. Whoso opposeth and exalted himself. Above all that that is called the most high or that is worshipped so that he is the most high sitteth in the temple of the most high showing himself that he is the most high. Who, 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 who does this guy look like? Is, is this not the so-called white man? Is this not the so-called white man's image right here? You see? Is that not the so-called white man's image? You think you ain't a nigga Jesus cap a uh, 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 a uh, 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 statue nowhere in the world like that. You ain't finna see no Hispanic Jesus looking like that. You ain't about to see no Chinese, no Japanese. It's the so-called white man. And, and these are nations that are not even so-called white. <laughs> this shit is retarded, man. It's, it's vexing, man, to even look at. They worked on this. Let me, let's go back into the story. Because they worked on this for some years. And spent all kinds of money on this crap, man. It says, Christ the Protector was sculpted by the art artist Marcus Morrow from Brazil's Sierra State, who completed the finishing touches last week. He told local media, I got very emotional. Huh? See, our people are very emotional over idols, man. I'm telling you, you don't stop worshiping this, 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 this damn cracker. I'm just going to be straight up with it. He's a cracker, man. The Lord didn't look like that in the scriptures, man. The Lord was not running around talking about, hey, uh, Paul, do you have an extra bottle of sunscreen? I left mine back in Antioch or wherever, man. <laughs> the hell out of here, man. It says, <laughs> it says, he told the local news, I got very emotional. It's a feeling I can't quite explain. Work on the statue began in 2019. Okay, yeah, they've been working on that boy for a minute. So they've been working on that for about five years. And has mostly been funded by local businesses in the region. It was the idea of local mayor, Eduardo Conzati, who died of COVID-19. <laughs> why, didn't, why didn't the statue of white, why, why didn't white Jesus heal him? He died of COVID? He died of of, of a, a simple disease didn't when the lord laying hands on people and healing them with far worse diseases come on man his idol let him down 
Following nearly three years of solid work, Marcus said he feels exhausted but fulfilled by the experience after making the final touches to Christ's feet and completing the main structure. Boy, I tell you. He added, everything is good, everything is wonderful. According to the site manager, more than 50,000 people, including tourists from 21 different countries, have already visited the monument. And that's what it's all about, really. It's really about the money. See, they understand that, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, uh, people visit sites like that. These, these are, you know, wonders of the world, so to speak. People, when you know, when they go to visit somewhere, you know, they, you know a lot of these people, they, they tend to want to visit somewhere religious. And these are, you know, they, they, they probably going to sell a whole bunch of this shit, sell dolls and statues, sell a whole bunch of, you know, rosary beads and all that other bullshit that they worship. A bunch of Mother Mary statues and shit. It says the work is part of one of several stages in building a tourist complex. See, that's all it's about, man. It's just really about money. The park is being built without public money with the help of donations from the local community from all over Brazil and, uh, and abroad. See, they ain't worried about no local money. They would they 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 gonna get that outside money coming in. The final part will have shops, see, restaurants, viewpoints, and central area to better welcome visitors. Robertson Gazzotti, deputy president of the Friends of Christ Association, said, We did the work of Christ based on three words: faith, devotion, and gratitude. Oh wow. But the work took on a very large proportion in the time of the pandemic. Christ came to add the people's, to people's faith. The Christ Monument can be visited by tourists on Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays. There you go. The visitation currently includes access to the, com the construction complex with the accompaniment of local conductors where it is possible to observe the artistic work already completed. All right, yeah, 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 you get it. Okay, but anyway, now somebody in here, they kind of, you know, now this guy, Mike Hinton, he threw up a couple of scriptures. But, you know, if he's an Edomite, his ass is going into slavery, too, because he's not mentioning that the, so, uh, that the, uh, that the Lord is not a so-called white man. And that's very, very important because the Lord comes in the volume of the book. You can't just say that it's not important what his color was when it mentions his color in the scriptures. You can't say that because if you do, now you're taken away from the scriptures. Don't the scripture says to not add to nor take away from this book or the plagues will be added unto you? But he had De um, Deuteronomy 4 and 16. Beware, lest you act corruptly by making... I'm not sure if he... Let me see if he has the... Um, let me get it. Blue letter. KJV. Deuteronomy 4 and 16. I mean, but that's the law, though, basically, man. To have no other gods before him, man. Because... That white Jesus, that's a whole nother entity, man. That's a whole nother situation. That's a that's a goddamn demonic being, man, on our people. Our people believe in that shit to the T. Okay, let me see. Let me get a I'm gonna get a verse up. Matter of fact, verse 15, it actually um titles it as a warning against idolatry. Take ye this is verse 15. Take ye therefore good heed unto yourselves. For ye saw no manner of similitude on the day that the Lord spake unto you in Harab out of the midst of the fire. So you ain't see no similitude, man. You ain't see nothing. Lest ye corrupt yourselves and make you a graven image, the similitude of any, any figure, the likeness of a male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, and the likeness of any winged fowl that flieth in the air, the likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth, and lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven, when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, shouldest be driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord thy God hath divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. So you're not supposed to have any of those things. Moon, sun, stars, fish, uh, your mother Mary, your, 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 your Jesus Christ carving, your, your Islam cobblestone. You know, none of that shit. We're supposed to have faith and believe in a, uh, in, in, in a God. Basically, that's why the nations, they, they can't get it because we have faith in the Lord. We don't have to see him to know that he's there and that he's real because his 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 creations um, speaks for him. 
You know what I'm saying? Now, there's going to come a time where we're going we're gonna to see our Lord face to face because we're going to be changed into those bodies where we can see him. You see? But we have faith. We don't need to see, you know, we don't, we don't need to see no, no image. And that goes off into the Greeks. Uh, what does it say? The Greeks desire a sign. Let me see. And the Jews, no, the Jews desire, desire a sign. It says, 1 Corinthians 1 and 22, for the Jews require a sign. And the Greeks seek after wisdom. See, if it don't make no sense to the Greeks, they can't get it. it uh, what do you... What do you mean? You, you're worshiping something that you can't see? And then you have our people, our own people, the Jew, they want to see a goddamn sign all the time. Oh, well, if the Lord is really real, let the lightning strike three times and, 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 and let this, you know, they got to see something. No, we believe in our father <laughs> just the way that he is, man. We can see around us and just look at something as simple as a, a grass blade, a damn a, a bird, man. Just watch, just looking at a, something as simple to us as, as a tree. When you get into looking into the skies and in the heavens and you look at how the waters in the ocean and all, look, we know his, his work, his handiwork. Matter of fact, the scriptures talks about that. His handiwork lets you know that he is who he is, man. We don't need to <laughs> come up with no images. We don't need to see some image of him, man. You see? And here you go, these people, they building goddamn skyscrapers. Got people worshiping damn idols. And it's all for the for the for the funds, man. All for the funds. But let me um just end out here. I want to keep the lesson long. Revelation. Let's get what the scriptures talks about. Let's get what how the script the scriptures describe him as his color, man. And we're gonna talk about after you done beat white Jesus into us 500, 600 damn years. Now all of a sudden his color don't matter when we're proving. That the Lord had melanin, man. That he was a dark, melanated man. Revelations 13. I mean, um, Revelations 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment, down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, and as white as snow, as white as snow. That means that he had woolly, textured, white hair. Gray hair or not gray, but white it says, you know, like how you see a so-called uh, 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 one of our elders, a dark skinned elder and all his hair done turned white. He's like 70, 75, 80. His hair is all white and it just bangs off that dark skin, that beautiful bronze skin. You see, it says. And his eyes were as a flame of fire because the Lord was a wine bibber. The Lord drank a lot of wine, man. He drank wine. He wasn't a drunkard. But he liked wine. One of his very first miracles, um, his very first miracle, if I'm not mistaken, was he changed water to wine. It says, and his feet. Now, your feet are the same color as the rest of your body, just like your hands are. Just like your head is. And his feet like unto fine brass. Is it br brass is a derivative of brown. As if they burned in a furnace. Now, if you burn in something brown in a furnace, that's going to be a bronze. Polished brass, you can go on YouTube and you can look up stuff like that. And what you'll see is, matter of fact, I could probably pull something. Let me see. And his voice as the sound of many waters. So he had a, 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 a dark color, woolly hair, and a deep voice. It says as if it's, and I, matter of fact, I keep, I try and keep a picture up here. A white Jesus. Here we go right here. Cause I, I typed in burnt brass and I keep this now on my tab. I don't even get rid of it anymore. Now the scripture describes him as, now this is the scripture that I just read. The scripture that the scriptures that I just read, um, one 13 through 15, but this is what they're pushing on the world that he looks like this effeminate guy with the long ass hair. And we just went into the scriptures that it is, a, it, it's a shame for a man to have long hair. And that's, that's the law or that's in the scriptures. So why would the Lord have long, blonde ass hair? You know what I'm saying? And like I said again, he <laughs> why would the Lord send his son here with no melanin, man, where he needs sunscreen to walk in? And, and you know they had no sunscreen back then. Hey, look, that son is deadly on Esau Edom to this very day in 2022. And they didn't even have the shit that they had back then, man. They were staying their asses up in them mountains. And up in them caves until nighttime, until that sun went down. They ain't want no parts of that sun in the daytime. 
But the scriptures describe the Lord is looking more like this man. Bronze, burnt brass, burnt bronze, man. You see what I'm saying? And so this lie has been told enough, man. And it's high time for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to wake out of sleep, man. And for real. Let me see where... See, the, 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 matter of fact, there go my picture right there. This one. Burnt brass, man. Bronze. Dark. Melanated. This is what his feet would have looked like, probably even darker. Like, come on, man. All oh, this old sweet white baby Jesus crap. Get the hell out of here, man. The Lord would then look like this guy right here. Because this is who the world really thinks of. They, they, you know, all these statues they building with, with the cross and all that other shit. The Lord didn't look like this guy right here, man. That's a goddamn lie. Looking like a damn woman. All these pictures looking like a woman. Here go one right here. And the scriptures talks about not showing thy nakedness. So why would the Lord be in a picture showing him, you know, what, what's the purpose of one of his motherfucking um, 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 uh, muscles and pecs being shown? This, but this is the so-called white man right here. This is the type of shit they push on the people with all those effeminate pictures and statues and stuff that they done thrown up over the past millennial, man. And people believe this stuff. And this is the right reason why we do these lessons, man. Look at this shit. This look effeminate as hell. You think the Lord was on the earth looking like this clown right here? This look like the bearded lady. Straight up, man. So I just wanted to do a quick lesson on this. Um, you know, because this, this is real. This is a real big thing to a lot of our people, man. They believe in white Jesus. They believe that the Lord looked like this, man. Northern kingdom and southern kingdom. You can't tell your grandmama that, that, that this ain't her Lord. For real, you can't tell, I'm telling you, you can't tell them. They go to church every Sunday believing in this guy right here, man, and this idol worship, and they have no idea that the Lord is going to destroy them for believing in this image, man. And they thinking that they're doing the right thing. That's the thing. They have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge, roughly paraphrasing. You see? But you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, your Lord is a so-called dark, melanated man. He will be a Negro today if he walked the earth. That's the true image of the Lord, man. The true name of the Lord is Yahweh. That's the true name of the Father, which means that he exists or he is to be. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or deliver in Paleo Hebrew. And we can go even further. You can Google when was the letter J invented. And what's going to show you It's going to show you that it was invented in 1524, about 500 years ago. So if the Lord walked the earth 2000 years ago, how the hell is his name Jesus? That's all worked up and whitewashed and whipped up and presented to you straight from the so-called white man, which the devil, he's the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? He covered the main face of the judge. That's Job 9 and 24. The main judge is our Lord, the father, Yahweh, first off. Then he made the, the his son look like a so-called white guy. And that in itself proves that they are the wicked, man. Because you got to be a wicked ass people to take the scriptures, remove the, the original people, and then try and make it seem as if you're that, that person. That, ain't that identity theft? Isn't there a law against identity theft? Come on, man. Repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. These so called white people that have pulled this off and enslaved the children of Israel, they're going into slavery, man, in the kingdom. And you, you so called white people, man, y'all might as well look forward to it. You might as well just go ahead and, and, and max out your credit cards, have the best time in your kingdom, because this is your kingdom. Because when the new kingdom come, whoo, ain't going to be number work for y'all. Y'all going to get that, that double up of what y'all done to us, man. So with that, pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.